Hello everyone and welcome back to Zoo Crafting! I am Zookeeper Siri and we are here at our little workbench area down in the Zudesia Laboratories, or I should say, I guess the tree trunk? The tree trunk of Zudesia, because it's kind of like the trunk of my giant tree house. I'm really not sure what to call my little my little like work area here. Cause you think for a zoo of our size and the way we're growing so much, this area would be bigger. But thanks to those amazing diamond chests back there, we are actually able to store so much stuff. That is so nice. I mean, especially when you start looking at like all the rock hounding ores that we have. Look at this. Look at this. There's just so much stuff. I can't imagine trying to like actually put these all just in double chest. That would take up so much space. But in our nice tidy area over here, we're oh, there's my puppies. Here's my whole little flock of dogs. I I, I say flock because it's like you guys just rush everywhere. You fly everywhere like a bunch of geese. You are little geese puppies. Uh, let's see. Do I have any food for them? I do not. I do not. Uh oh. All right. Well, we will snag them some more food down at the animal food trap or the animal traps that we have in the temperate forest area, which is where we are headed next. And oh my gosh, you guys! I had no idea waffles were so popular. Waffles are so popular. You guys are so excited about waffles, and not just you guys. Actually, I know Huck and Pavo and a few of the other amazing zoo crafting members here on the server. I am missing a furnace there. That is interesting. But I know a few of the other members here on the server have actually been like, food, free food so I am definitely going to make sure we have some syrup and covered waffles some pancakes some of those delicious um, tofu uh, like sausage it's gonna it's gonna be like the little yeah these things the maple sausage but it's gonna be made out of tofu and you guys will never be able to tell the difference because the maple syrup will be so delicious so that is our goal today is to get that stocked up and to also release the three woodpeckers that Pavo the creator of the exotic birds mod who is super awesome and become one of our good friends now it he actually gave these to me and we really need to go like on a world tour pretty soon because I hear amazing things have been built all over the world I haven't had a chance to explore very much lately to other people's areas because we've been so busy lately but I'm really excited about sharing um just his areas, putting the woodpeckers in there. He gave me Gouldian finches too, Lily. Oh my gosh, getting a Gouldian finch aviary built over in... Not this fungi forest, because eventually this is going to be full of dinosaurs! But the fungi forest that is over there, that's going to be really exciting. Ah, so much to do, so much to do. But alright, we are down here- oh, oh my gosh, my puppies really are going everywhere, this is amazing. We are down here tripping over puppies, and trying to figure out what tools we are going to need in order to make all of the food in the syrup shack. And again, I had no idea that building this little restaurant for the zoo would be so popular, but I think that's a good sign. Okay, we don't really Really need anything for the maple sausage I guess you just kind of smoosh it all together and it's good um, now for the pancakes we're gonna need a mortar and pestle to make the flour that's definitely a thing um, not a food processor we need a mortar and pestle and then we are also going to need a skillet and let me think and for the waffles did you need a skillet for the waffles or did you need yeah a skillet so we need a skillet iron iron and a stick all right, so let's see. Here's a bunch of iron from last time. So I'm gonna make a skillet. All right, then she come right over here. Oh my gosh, I'm out of, out of sticks. Oh, there's my sticks. Ah, oh, man, it's so. I feel like we're almost never in here anymore to build things. So it's kind of, kind of nostalgic to come back here. And I'm actually gonna make like three skillets because I want to put a couple up as decorations. And then we're gonna need um, more tar, more tar. Hey, more. Tar. Mort, there we go. And mortar and pestle. And we're gonna need stick and then stone. Okay, so we need stick here. And we're gonna pick up the iron. I should really put this I'm gonna start running low on iron actually. I better be prepared for that. I'm gonna put this iron away in here so it's nice and safe. And then I need some stone. Let's see, here's some stone. So let's see, three of those. Do I need more? I'm gonna go ahead and make two just in case. Maybe I should like give I know what I should do since Pavo has just joined the server I should give him like a bunch of cooking utensils like a housewarming gift You know like when people get married they give you like a toaster So when you move into a new place It'd be nice to get like a cooking set so that you can cook all the delicious amazing food that we have here in the zoo crafting world Because it's delicious amazing food, and I love it. All right, let's see so that should let me make 
the flour that I need for the pancakes and the waffles, and then the skillet. And did I need anything else? I feel like there was one more waffle. I feel like there might have been one more thing that I needed. Butter. That's right, a saucepan. Oh, go me. I remembered. I'm so glad I remembered at the last time. And the last time at the last moment. All right, let's see. I'm going to grab so two saucepans. Yeah, it would actually be pretty fun to make a bunch of... Um, <laughs> puppies don't climb on this right now. I'm trying to make things. Um, to be, It would be really fun to make a bunch of cooking utensils to give to him as a gift. I think that would be kind of cool. All right, and the last thing I want to make is actually a cutting board. And I think it'd just be smart to have a cutting board in the little shop, the syrup shack. And also we need a cutting board for the temperate forest um, zookeeper area that we have. So let's see, what does it take to make a cutting board? Iron, stick, and wood. Okay. All right, need that stick again. Every time I think I'm done with the stick, it's like time to yank it back out. That's fine. And the puppies will chase sticks too, so sticks for everybody. Yay. All right, oak wood planks. And then I need, oh, yeah, you're so cute. Um, let's see, two iron. I am running out of room. That's just fine. I'm going to put these apples away. Um, hmm. This orange juice away. And let's see. There we go, two iron, and we come over here, and sticks, and iron, and ta-da, two cutting boards, all right. So I think we are all ready and decked out and ready to go, and the puppies are starting to get hungry. So let's start running down towards the temperate forest area, and I am so excited. I'm going to talk to our wonderful um, Martha and have her maybe think about seeing if we can hire some of those carpenters from Relic Ruins to come over here and help us start building the zoo entrance. I really want to have that done before the two-year anniversary of zoo crafting, which is coming up pretty soon. That's so exciting. Sunflower, Astro Seed, people have requested again and again that we let Astro Seed learn how to fly. So that is going to have to happen pretty soon. So Astro Seed can have a chance at, at flying in the sky, just like his wonderful mate. All right, we're going to come down here and ignore all the overgrown gardens for a little bit. But I'm really excited about the temperate forest area, you guys. Adding things like this little shop, the lookout post, um, all of the little benches that there are to sit down at. We kind of have a informational cabin that I'm working on building right now. Hello, Mushroom. Adding all of those things, it just makes it feel like the zoo is really coming to life. And soon it'll be ready to be treated like... Oops. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Well, not if I drown my guest. <laughs> What a moment! What a moment to actually like fall in the water. Oh my gosh. Hello Spruce. How are you doing? All right I need to get the puppy some food. Oh my gosh. Well, I better I better double check that because that was totally an unintentional drowning Just as I was trying to say that I feel like the zoo is going to be Ready for people to come and kind of treat it like a real zoo where they'll have little informational booths and they can talk to educators and they can see the animals Oh, it's just, it's going to be so fun. And this is supposed to kind of mimic the Zoo Tycoon 2 zoos um, from the game Zoo Tycoon 2. And so it's not just about building the animal enclosures. It's also about making sure that the guest facilities are really nice. Like I have no bathrooms here. That would be, that would just totally be sacrilege in Zoo Tycoon 2. You need to have bathrooms for your guests in there. And food. All right. So speaking of food. Oh my goodness, somebody's, somebody's so hungry. It's Zoe. Zoe's so hungry. Hang on, guys. All right, let me see. Here's some raw venison. I'm trying to pick stuff that the, the zoo animals don't need. All right, let's see what's in here. Got a little bit of raw rabbit, which actually the wolves will eat, but there we go. All right, I'm going to go ahead and get the raw chicken. All right, come here, you guys. Come here. All right, come here, Zozo. There you go. All right. That topped you off for a little bit. I, I guess I better... Uh, well, I don't have enough room to empty out that area right now. And it's actually getting... Oops, sorry, Lily. I'm sorry. Lily and Zozo, come on in. Come on in. It's a little bit crowded in here right now, but that's fine. Um, oh, there's a whole bunch of meat in here. We'll grab this raw mutton and I'll feed it to the dogs. Let's see. And I want... I want an oak wood slab. That's what I want. So that I can have... There we go, oakwood slab. And I want it so I can put this down. And then so I can put my little cutting board down. 
And now what we can do is we can take the raw pork chops and we can cook them inside of this furnace right here, which actually does have some charcoal. And then we can mix it with the spice leaves and some salt. So we would need to get like a water bucket so we can make salt, but then we can make the wolves pork chops. Their little, their little, whoops, pork, there we go. Their little um, pork sausage that we make for them during Zoo Kitchen side quest. We can now just go ahead and make that in here for them, which I think is a lot smarter than having to run like all the way back up to the house to prepare the animals' food. So I thought that would be a good idea. A good idea, huh, puppies? Oh, Iris, are you ready for bed? Okay, let's go to bed really quickly. And then we will head on up and get the syrup shack kind of tidied up a little bit. Shouldn't take too long, Iris. Oh, that reminds me. I wanted to make... Oh, this is gonna get a little interesting. I wanted to make a bunch of item frames. All right, this is this is where we're starting to get kind of tied up on space and everything else. All right, there we go. Yes, item frames. Um, and I have one leather left over, and no room anywhere to store things. Okay. Um, hmm. What if I do this and this and this, and then this and then this and then this, and then this? Can I put that chest there? Nope. Um, Iris? Pardon me, Iris. I kind of need this spot right here. Hope you don't mind. Thank you. There we go. Now I go. Oh, she's like just climbing on it. She's like, that's fine. I'm just going to climb all over it then. All right. There we go. And now I feel like we have a little bit more room for working in this tiny. This is my temperate forest zookeeper um, room. And really, if like I had more staff and it wasn't just me and some of the people over in the, the peafowl area, I would feel pretty gypped if I had to work in like a not very well lit little cave trying to take care of all these animals. You got to take good care of your people too. All right. Well, we'll empty the animal traps out later. For now, oh, I love this little cabin. This is going to be so cool. So question, if you guys went to a zoo and you ran across like this little sort of informational booth and you wanted to learn things from it, what would you want to learn? And how would you, like, what would you expect to find in a little area that you're supposed to go to that'll tell you about like, here's what you can see in this side of the zoo. Here's some information about the animals. I guess this is, in my head, this is more the kind of um, building that you see at the United States Federal National Parks where there is an educational building that you can go in and they've got diagrams they've got really helpful like park rangers or park volunteers who can tell you all about the park in like meticulous detail which I really love because oh, they can sit down and like tell you about the history of the land they can tell you about like the animals and their life cycle and it's just so exciting so that's kind of what I think this needs to be like it'd be fun to have um, either the red wolf educator who I want to stand at a little podium right here or maybe like a book inside of there oh and it looks like one of the wolves is summer why are you always in the water oh my gosh but i would love to have a book or something that could tell you about this red wolf pack and how it will grow and change in the future because i'm pretty sure we're going to start a national park somewhere where we can release these red wolves and kind of let them run around and check in on them now and then and see how the pack is doing see if the family has expanded or if it's decreased how it's adjusting to the wild i think that would be really fun so we need to think of a name for our national park where we're going to release some of the red wolves in the future you guys so come up with some cool names for that mm -hmm, mm -hmm. all right let's head up to the syrup shack the sticky syrup shack the maple syrup shed you guys have come up with so many names for that and my chestnuts should be done oh my delicious chestnuts oh my gosh hell yeah do you want some chestnuts too i don't think dogs i think chestnuts are poisonous for dogs so no chestnuts for dogs oh look at that roasted chestnuts oh i forgot you get experience points so many roasted chestnuts i almost leveled up Woo! all right and now we can work on decorating the syrup shack so this should be fun all right here's my little item frames we're gonna put the food that we sell up there and then let's see we need to put in, hello puppies, um, we need to put in some other things here. So we do have saucepans, and we have skillets, and we have maple syrup, which actually could go up here. So like, oh, and then somebody mentioned like we should have, oh, the plates, I forgot the plates of all things. Well, I'll do that later. Oh, I can't believe I forgot the plates. I'm going to have to get the plates. Like that was an absolutely essential part of the plan for what I wanted to do here. So, oh man. All right, we'll get that later. All right, and then a mortar and pestle. There we go. 
There we go. So I'm excited. What other kinds of little restaurants and things do you want to set up here in Zudesia? Oh, look at that. That looks so good. Because I was thinking how much fun it would be um, to like set up a pizza place or maybe like a um, a riverboat that you could eat on, like a fancy riverboat for a super fancy dinner. And you could have NPC waiters in, in little suits and things like that, or somebody playing the violin. I thought that would be really fun too. So there's so much we can do. There's so much we're going to be doing to expand the zoo and just build it up. All right, here's some egg baskets. I wonder, I think I can put these egg baskets like down. Can I, oh, look at it, look at it, look at it. You can put the little egg basket just right down there. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, I'm gonna pick that up. And then we have a cutting board, just because I feel like that's something you would expect to see in this sort of cooking setup we have right here. Um, I feel like the egg basket is really cute, but does it fit in? I guess it could fit in right there. Like you just reach down, grab some fresh eggs, mix, 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 stir, stir, stir. All right, and then do the rest of them. I guess the rest of them could just like, I'm gonna need a couple of them. And the rest could just sort of sit in here. I guess if you wanted like fresh eggs, you could order fresh eggs too. There is that. All right, so let's go ahead and crack the egg baskets open. Ha ha ha. And now what we're going to do really quickly. Um, well, do I want to do this now? I forgot my plates. I'm very upset about forgetting my plates. <laughs> okay, we're going to do this now. Okay, I'm going to resist the urge to run all the way back up to the house to get my plates. All right, so we're going to make a bunch of flour. There we go, in the mortar and pestle. So that is what it's for. So now we are stocked up on flour for this little shop. And then let's see, the next thing we want to do, I want some pancakes. I'm going to make some delicious pancakes. And so we're going to put like flour here, milk here, eggs here, of which we need many, many more. And then here's our skillet. So I'm going to put the skillet here. And there's like 16 pancakes just like that. Oh, that's so awesome. And then we need the maple syrup. Okay, so then you take your pancake and you drizzle on your maple syrup and boom, maple syrup pancakes. Just like that, you guys. Just like that. Oh my gosh, so delicious. So now we just need to put one into the item frame right up here so people know. So you've got your syrup. I'm going to put... Um, where should the pancakes go? I feel like pancakes should go in the middle because you know it's a it's a flapjack pancake sort of shack. So pancakes there, and then you can have some normal pancakes. We'll put like normal pancakes over here. I kind of want like a line. You know what I want? Even though it's kind of decadent, I want like a line of skillets that will go right there. So it's like they're constantly flipping them and you can just get them fresh. Oh, that would be so fun. We're going to have to do that. Even though it's just kind of like silly and decadent. I really like that idea. Like a waste of iron resources, but I don't care. I want like a line of skillets. So when you come and you get your free sample of the food here, it's just right in that chest. Oh, that would be so much fun. Okay. Okay. Back on track. Oops. Any, any, any more maple syrup to harvest, please? Any, oh, there's one. There's one. There's one. All right. Oh, that's not the... I don't know why I planted that tree there. It's going to confuse me until the end of time. All right. Oh, there's a maple syrup. All right. Oh, and there's another one. Catching the wild maple syrup. This is not usually... You don't usually smack a tree and just grab the maple syrup that pops off of it. Just so you know, you guys. All right. And let's go ahead and make some waffles. So the waffles, I think... I just need the eggs for... Hello, Iris. <laughs> She's being just so silly today. All right. So let's go ahead, pop these eggs in. There we go. That's pancakes. Oh, and the waffles you need the butter for. That's one of the differences. I remember now. So we're going to put the eggs there. And I need to make butter with the saucepan. Okay, I'm trying to remember what the little butter. There we go. Butter. Okay. So we need, we need the silken tofu. We need the saucepan and we need the sugar that I brought. There we go. And that, is, or the salt that I brought, I mean. That's why we brought the salt too. So we can make lots and lots of butter. There we go. All right. And then we're gonna come over here and ba -da -ba -da, boom. Waffles, delicious, delicious waffles. All right, and I'm gonna actually make a few more. 
And there we go. Oh, I get so excited about cooking. I love cooking. I love cooking so much. All right, and then we can make we can make three maple syrup covered waffles right now because we only have three maple syrups. I guess you should be able to buy like a maple syrup from whatever whatever lumberjack. Missing ingredient is actually the lumberjack that we need to run this place. But I guess you should be able to buy those syrups um, here. You know, I wonder. I'm gonna put this here. And then I kind of feel like a syrup should go there instead of the, like, we'll have the maple sausage as an option, but I feel like a syrup should go there. Oh, this is so exciting. Sometimes this detail work is, I mean, if you guys remember the Berry Bakery from the old world, I love detail work. I really do. I mean, look at how cool this would be with a bunch of skillets lined up there. We're going to do it. We are so going to do it, you guys. Oh my gosh, and I can't believe we've spent so much time just with just with uh, waffles and pancakes. But you know what? This this world grows every single day, and I need actually what I need. Hmm. Hmm. What I need is actually like a chest in here, and I think I need like, huh? Hmm. Hmm. Because I need, oh wait, no, I was like, where am I going to store my flour? Durr, I can just store it up there. Never mind. <laughs> I'm like going around in circles trying to figure out how to fix this. And the answer is in the shelving. That's why we have awesome shelves. So you can just be like, boom, 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 all the ingredients right there. And we haven't even made the, um, the other stuff yet. Okay, now we're out of room though, so I need another shelf. All right, so I'm going to run back up to the house and get plates because I really want the cool little crayfish plates right here. And then um, we're going to finish making some more of the ingredients for here. And then we will release the woodpeckers when we are all done in here because that will be our celebratory little party. But yeah, if you guys remember Berry Bakery from the old world, this is right up that alley with the kind of detail work and making it a functional place where people can come and have a great time. And I promise tomorrow we'll talk more about animals because I have some amazing facts to share with you guys about North American woodpeckers. So I will see you guys then. Bye-bye. Also, puppies, don't growl. We'll go somewhere safe. <laughs> come on, puppies. All right, I'll see you guys then. Bye-bye.